my name is Seth Kweku Bani and today I'm going to show you how to design this. Hi everybody, so let's step into Photoshop and then click on create new. Now we are going to use a dimension that I've not used in this channel before. I want to print this banner so I'm going to set here to inches and I'm going to use 48 here and then 60 here. The resolution set it to 100 pixels per inch. RGB here, 8-bit here, white here. Let's call it funeral banner. Now I know you are, you are thinking I'm going to print it. Why am I setting it to RGB color? I'm going to set it to CMYK once I am done. But then um, I just want to set it to RGB for now. Just so that you can see the colors clearly on your screen. Okay, but then once you are done with it, convert it to CMYK. Click on create and then let's go to view. Let's go to new guard layout. Set here to 4. Set here to 0 0.5 across as well and click on OK. Now if you are interested in this particular PSD file together with every PSD file on this channel, check in the description you see a link which will send you to a seller account and then you can be able to get this PSD file together with all PSDs in this channel. Okay so with that said let's go with a new adjustment solid color type in D5, D3, D2, D5, D3, D2 click on OK. The next thing is we are going to type um, some names over here so click on your text tool and type over here and then go and pick in loving memory of and paste it here open your character we are going to use uh, Montserrat for it and so Montserrat is here pick it and then make sure italics is off come here and set it to extra bold the font size set it to 112 nice a tracking set it to zero and then we are using color black now also go to paragraph make sure here is middle aligned Control t and then turn it to the middle of everything now let's duplicate it and let's bring it down click on your move to hold shift let's bring it down a little bit and then let's pick the rest of the detail okay now open your character and then we are going to use tempos headline but then before we start working on this this particular one i want you to double click it in loving memory of i want you to go to stroke and i want you to set here to 10 set here to outside normal 100 percent click here set it to white okay now rebecca i want you to set the font size over here to 409 and then I also want you to set the tracking to zero. Click over here to make it bolder. And then also click over here to make all italics. If it's not that already, click over here. And then let's pick, um, let's pick white. For now, let's see. Drag it down a little bit. Zoom in. And then let's double click here. And then let's use stroke over here. I want us to come and set here to uh, 6. And then set here to outside normal 100%. Click over here, set here to 6D, 6D, 6D. Click on OK. And then I also want you to come here to inner glow set here to normal set the opacity to 100 percent set here to color white choose color white over here and then the size over here let's choose 21 and then the range let's choose 16. let's zoom in and let's see how it looks like okay so click here let's choose this color let's see how it will be so that's it let's pick this particular color and then click OK. Now let's come to drop shadow. Pull it somewhere here. Now drop shadow. I want us to set here to normal. Set here to 91%. Set here to 153. And then over here, set it to 21. Set here to 24. Set the size here to 51. And then that is it. Let's click on OK. 
so that is it for the rebecca you can push it up a little bit more and then the in loving memory we can duplicate it and then drag it down now let's pick the rest of the details let's paste it here open your character let's go for tempos headline great now tempos headline we are going to set the font size to 259 and then we are going to set the tracking to zero click over here to make it all caps and then make it all bold as well click over here let's give it this particular color be 140e to be e 140e click on ok and then the size is quite small so let's see let's set here to 259 let's see okay let's drag it down make sure special middle align drag it up a little bit Now, I want us to go to drop shadow. Set here to 91, normal, 153, 21 over here, 24 over here, 0 over here. Click on OK. Let's put it all in a group and let's call it name. Now, I want us to type the year over here. So, let's pick this and let's paste it there. Click over here and set it to pure black and then we are using Montserrat for it let's use extra bold for it let's use 112 for it and then the tracking zero make it black as well and then let's drag it here now i also want you to go here right click it and go to custom shape click over here if you don't have all these click over here go to all go to okay and then pull it down until you find um what we are looking for so this is it so hold shift and then create something like this and then drag it up a little bit double click it and click on black Ctrl J, Ctrl T, and then right click it and then flip horizontal. Enter, click on your move to hold shift and drag it here. Now you want to make sure all of them are also middle aligned. So click on it, Ctrl T to see whether it's middle aligned. It is. You can drag it up a little bit if you love to. All right. So we know it's middle aligned now. Let's put it in a group and let's call it. Yeah. Now let's text over here and let's pick the rest of the detail and then let's paste it here open your character and then we are using Montserrat we are using extra board we are using 96 over here and then we are using tracking zero over here we are also using color black over here click here and click here as well and then control T make sure it is middle aligned duplicate it and bring it down a little bit go and then pick this now you want to make sure paragraph is also like this middle aligned that way it makes your work quite easier paste it over there and then to be middle aligned now with this one the size let's decrease the size all the way to 88 and then let's move it up a little bit duplicate it again and bring it down and then let's go and pick this and then let's paste it here and then let's pick rectangular and then let's draw it like that and then double click it and then let's make it color black and then let's move it here okay now duplicate adenta over here and then drag it up here you also want to click on your move to click on shift and then drag it here like that and then let's pick this 
let's paste it there and then let's duplicate it again let's bring it down a little bit and then let's pick this and let's paste it there great and then let's also duplicate it again and then let's pick this let's drag it down a little bit let's come here let's pick this and let's paste it there let's come here let's pick this let's drag it in there as well let's resize it and let's zoom in and, and place there nicely great make sure both of them are also middle aligned now let's duplicate it again let's drag it up and then let's click on your move tool and then move it down now i want us to pick our dress code and then let's paste it there open your character here go here let's give it a particular color eight one zero seven zero three make sure it's middle align and then let's click over here and then let's draw something like this nice now double click it and let's give it this color four zero zero five zero three click on ok duplicate dress code drag it up and then pull it somewhere here set the color to color white over here pick color white and then let's come and pick the detail and then let's paste it there we are using monster let's use semi bold for it the size let's also increase decrease it Let's decrease it to 73 and then click here click here make it white here like that and then that is it make sure it's middle aligned as well and that is pretty much it let's put everything in a group let's call it d tail okay now let's come here and drag this one all the way here and then let's resize it you can drag it up a little bit more let's type here and then let's pick um one year anniversary and then let's paste it there click here and let's choose color black also make sure this is off this is off and then this is on let's zoom in let's go to our character we are going to use madelican where is you madelican we are using regular for it the font size let's use 280 the tracking here to zero color black and we also want to make sure it is metal aligned now let's make it much more bigger and let's drag the text beneath it here also want to make sure it is metal aligned give it a mask click on your brush to make sure caps lock is off here hundred here hundred here click black over here click on the mask over here reduce the size of the brush and then just mask this side now increase the size of the brush and then just mask it a little bit until it fades nicely also you want to reduce the size of your brush and then mask the size the head here area here like that and then come beneath it i want you to go here and then pick your ellipse to hold shift and then draw a circle like that behind it double click it and let's give it the size the color and let's give it a color 4b 2a 2a all right click on okay and then let's make sure it's also middle aligned drag it down a little bit give it a mask and then let's mask this side of it as well also want to make sure like that and so this looks quite great and so guys um if you love this video please hit the bell icon and subscribe to this channel as well uh don't forget if you need this psd together with all psds in this channel you're going to find a link in the description and then you'll be able to make the purchase every psd in this channel is going out for just four dollars i love you all guys see you in the next tutorial peace